So our drug is called Ocalibur. Um, it is approved to treat patients um, with primary biliary cholangitis, or previously known as primary biliary cirrhosis, um, who have an inadequate response or can't tolerate the one drug that has been approved about 20 years ago. So we have been working in this disease since 2006, at the end of 2006. So it's been a long journey. Um, we have ended up in this rare disease working with patients and physicians and investigators really across North America and across Europe and Australia um, to get the drug approved and got approved last year, about a year ago, right before Memorial Day uh, in the US last year. So I think for Intercept it's been transformational because it's turned the company from being just a research and development organization until a complete integrated company with people out talking to payers and talking to physicians and getting the drug to patients. So I think it's been completely transformational to the company and we've expanded in size hugely from about 16 people to about 500 people now. Um, more importantly though, I think it has helped patients and it's got from just the patients in clinical trials who volunteer, spend their time, give their energy, get to a lot of inconvenience, may or may not get an active drug or a drug that works, so they need to be praised and lauded. To, but it's spread from them to the whole PBC community who are not getting satisfactorily treated with current therapy. So I, this has been an incredible professionally satisfying year to see something being launched and get to a big, on a bigger platform to help patients, um, which is really very satisfying. And then when you start out in phase two in patients, only about 5% of drugs get to the end of the road and get approved by the FDA or the EMA. So it's uh, long odds and very satisfying when you can do it.